Ready to streamline your development workflow? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up Jenkins and Giti with Docker for automated builds. If you don't have Docker installed on your machine, check this article on our blog, link in the description. Make a folder for Git's data and create a Docker Compose file inside it. Contents of the files also in our blog. Start up the container. In your browser, type your IP colon 3000. On administrator account settings, create your admin account and press install. Back to the terminal, press Ctrl C to stop the container and edit the config file. In there, allow webhooks to the machine's IP where Jenkins will be running. And finally, start the container again, but this time with the D flag. The next step is to create an organization. Click on the plus and then new org. Give it a name and create it. Then we need in Git an user account for Jenkins. The email does not need to be a real one as we won't be using it. And we also need to set Jenkins account as an admin. And with that done, we can now start setting up Jenkins with its own folder and Docker compose file. To get the password to set up Jenkins, we need to get into the container and then we can cap the password file. On your browser, go to your IP colon 9000. Paste the password and click continue. Click on install the suggested plugins and wait until it completes. Then, we create the first admin account. Give it a username, password, name and email and click save. Make sure your URL is correct and click save. And finally, we can start using Jenkins. Click on Manage Jenkins at the left and then Plugins. Then click on Available Plugins and install Git-T and Docker Pipeline. Then we need to set up our agents. Back to Manage Jenkins, you should see a orangey banner. Click on Setup Agent. Give it a name, select Permanent and click Create. The number of executors should be less than your CPU cores. The remote directory can be Home slash User slash Jenkins. Then scroll down and click Save. On your built-in node, set the number of executors to zero as it can cause security risks. Then go to your new node, copy the commands, create the Jenkins folder and run the commands. On Jenkins, you should see the status changing to online. Now we need to create a service for it. Copy the nano command, close the agent with control C and run nano. This file should be empty for you. Copy it on our blog then change the URL and secret. Refresh, enable, and start the service. Now we are going to connect Jenkins to Giti. On Manage Jenkins, System, look for Giti. Add a new server, give it a name, and set its URL. Save and click New Item. Give it a name similar to your Git organization. Select Organization folder and click OK. Give it the same name and on Repository Sources, add a Giti organization. Select the server and add credentials. Input the Git's username, password, and give it a description to know which credentials these are. Set the owner to the org name. Change the scan periods if you want to, and click Save. And now on to the last step. Make an example repo. But before that, on your org, go to Settings, Webhooks, and add a new one. Now we can create the repo, give it a name, Git ignore for C and create it. Now, copy the Docker, Jenkins, and make files and create your main.c inside source folder. You can test the app by running make on your local PC. Now, if you make a commit and go to Jenkins, you should see something in the queue. Click it and then click on number one. Now, if you check the console, you should see that a Ubuntu container was made, updated, and then your app was compiled and ran in it. If you then check Git, you should see a check mark that if clicked will take you to the summary of what happened in Jenkins. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, and keep exploring the world of tech.